Here comes old man Wilson now. What you was after, Blackie? Yeah. Let's get out of here before somebody sees us. Am I singing, getting you down? No, it ain't that, Tex. But every time I hear that song, it makes me think of my third wife. And I get all itchy and full of goose pimples. And that was her favorite song. Well, you must have had a good wife, Tubby. The only thing good about her was her husband. <laughs> hey, hey, Stubby. Looks like a loose team. up the road, Stubby. Maybe we can find out what happened. Who is it, Tex? It's Tom Wilson. What happened, Tom? Hello, Tex. What are you doing? This part of the country. He's slipping fast. Yeah. Listen to me, Tom. Listen. Who shot you? Who was it? The masked riders. You got to help me, Tex. Four stair mine. See, Dan Farley. Red eye. Papers. That valuable. The boy 
days have been gone pretty long, Norton. You don't suppose something could have happened to you? No. Not with Blackie leading them. Don't be too sure about that. Blackie Devlin ain't to be trusted. I'd keep my eye on him if I were you. I don't like to say anything, Tex. But somehow or another, I got a feeling we're riding right smack dab into a hornet's nest. So have I. We don't know anybody around here. And we got good jobs waiting for us at Rock Creek. Stubby, Tom Wilson was one of my dad's best and oldest friends. Mine, too. Taught me how to rope steers when I was just a kid. And I aim to find out who got it. Why? Now, if you don't know going with me, you can go ahead. Oh, now, Tex, you know I ain't going nowhere without you. Well, thanks, Stubby, thanks. Now, let's go in there and find out how to get to the four-star mine. Good idea. My whistle needs a little weapon. I'm not smart, but I do mind my own business. Well, it's telling you don't do you any good. Maybe this will. Quiet.
stunt off the hardware. I figured you birds would try to pull a stunt like this, so I was waiting for you. Now, don't make a move. All right, come on there. Me and you can handle them. Uh, thank you, Stuffy. I don't know what I'd have done without you. <laughs> hey, what guy feels like now, Wait a minute. What's going on here? What's this all about, Norton? I think I can explain it. Come over to the bar. Here's your troublemakers. These two fellows blew in here and started something. Uh, that's it, eh? That four star business again, Sheriff. These two fellows came in here asking the way to the mine. Said they were going up there. We tried to talk them out of it, and they started an argument. Now, listen, Sheriff. I didn't start an argument. This fellow don't know what he's talking about. You know you gave us orders not to let anyone go up there. The boys were just doing their duty. I see. There's been a lot of queer goings on up there lately. Fires, shootings, and killings. And we don't aim to have any more of it. If I catch you hanging around there, it won't go easy for you. So take my advice, young fella, and stay in your own backyard. All right, Sheriff. You're the boss. Let's go, Stubby. Well, Stubby, that's my idea of a fine town. We sure were welcome. <laughs> yeah, just like old home week. I don't like the looks of those fellows. Don't you think you'd better keep an eye on them? Maybe I have. Hey, there's something screwy about this whole setup. Why do you suppose the sheriff and all of them wanted to keep us away from the Four Star? Well, I don't know. But the best place I know to find out is the Four Star. So let's go. But you were tough. The big boss isn't going to like it when he hears how you handle this. Well, what I care about the big boss. Besides, how do I know there is a big boss? You'll find out. Soon enough. Well, what are you staring at? Hmm. And that guy ordered sassaparella. Sure as you're born. Come on, man. Hey, hey! Looks like the chair's falling. Us. Yeah, I've been expecting them. Come on.
stay where you are. Put up your hands. Holy cow, it's a girl. Who are you, and what do you want up here? Well, if you don't mind, we'd like to ask you the same thing. Never mind that. Who are you? Well, my name is Tex Martin. That's my partner, Stubby. Pleased to meet you, Mom. We were just on our way to the Four Star Mine. See a friend. Friend? Who? A Dan Farley. You know him? Of course. He's my Uncle Tom's partner. Uh, Tom Wilson, your uncle? That's right. Why? Has something happened? He was shot. Shot? Yeah. Killed. And his last words was for us to head for the four-star mine and see Dan Farley. I knew he shouldn't have taken that trip. I had a feeling that... Feeling? What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing at all. Follow me and I'll show you the mine. What can I do for you, Sheriff? You seen anything of a couple of strange cowpokes around here, Barney? No, I haven't. Why? Well, they're troublemakers. I'm pretty sure they're headed this way. What do they look like? One's a tall and lanky individual and rides a white horse. His partner is short, fat, and wall-eyed. If I see anything of them, I'll let you know, Sheriff. Thanks. What are you doing with these men? They're all right, Dan. They're friends of Uncle Tom. You know the sheriff is just here looking for them? Well, well I think I can explain that, Miss Farley. Never mind that. What do you want up here? They found Uncle Tom murdered on the ridge road and came up here to notify him. Tom? Murdered? I was afraid of that. Well, I wish there was something I could do, Mr. Farley. Sometimes I almost wish they'd succeed in taking the fourth star away from us. Then perhaps we'd have a little peace around here. Oh. What is the real trouble up here, Mr. Farley? The masked riders. They burned, looted, killed, everywhere and everybody. I guess we've been about the hardest hit. Now it looks as if they'd played the trump card. They've got Tom and they've probably taken the deed to the mine because he had it with him. He was going to Silver Springs to mortgage the property. So we could buy some new mine equipment. Yes, and with that in their possession, it's only a question of time till they'll force us out of here completely. Hey, that mine must be a pretty valuable piece of property the way they're going after it. I'd like to have a look at it. I'd be glad to show you around. You want to go now? Sure do. Sooner the better. All right. This is Bill Dawson. Tex Martin. Glad to know you, Mr. Martin. That did. Mr. Dawson's our mine form. If you're planning on going through the mine, you'll find a lighted lantern just inside the shaft. That's fine, thanks. Would you like to see a sample of the ore? Well, I'd be glad to. says it isn't worth much, but it would at least give us a living if they'd only let us mine it. Are a rare in the 
You know, Dan, when I was punching cattle for the old Bar L outfit down there in Texas, I won the roping contest three years in concussion. <laughs> they made me the mayor of San Angelo. See, um, they call me the political cowboy. Uh, uh, by the way, Mr. Farley, do you know anything about a fellow named Norton? Runs the saloon in Red Eye. Not much, except him and his gang are good people to stay away from. Why? Oh, I was just wondering. believe it. He was one of my most trusted men. Phil Dawson, a masked rider? You better bring him up to the house, boys. I'll get some whiskey. That ought to bring him around. I can't understand it. It is sort of puzzling. If they want the mine so bad, why don't they come out in the open and fight for it, like men? There must be something we can do. I 
I'm afraid he's done for. I think I've got an idea that might force their hand. Anybody that can put those mask riders on the run, the way Tex Martin did the other night at the Four Star, is the man for us. Why, we all saw with our own eyes what he did to Blackie Devlin a couple of days ago. Why, that man ain't afraid of anything. We've been aiming to organize and drive out these killers and outlaws. All we needed was a leader. And I'm here to tell you, now we've got one in Tex Martin. <laughs> think of nothing, I'd like to do better. You can count on me. That's all we wanted to know. When do we ride? Well, uh, the time ain't right yet, but I'll let you know just as soon as we're ready. Good. We'll all be expecting to hear from you. What's our next move? Well, uh, I think we'll drop in on Norton later on. We might find out Sweetheart. 
back tonight. I'll ride, ride, ride till I hit the trail. That'll take me back to Texas to the gal I left behind. Who's a watching and a waiting there for me? I'll ride, ride, ride down the trail to home. I'll be courting down in Texas with the gal I left behind when I ride, ride, ride. I'm gonna marry you, a gal that can marry you. She lives on the prairie.
they're being followed. I don't hear nothing. Well, I reckon it's just a coyote. Come on. We have a special problem to consider tonight. The big boss is mighty pleased with the way things have been going so far. Red Eye has sewed up tight. The ranchers and miners are about to give in. But before we can drive them out and take over the four star, we've got an obstacle to overcome. As you know, the townsmen are organizing as vigilantes. And Martin's leading them. We've got to break that up. And there's just one way to do it. Get export! There's one too many men here. Are you sure? I know it. Guard that entrance! Finn, there's a spy here. Everybody on that! Hey, you? A masked rider? Well, now, now don't get me wrong, Nancy. I'm... So you sold us out, coming up here posing as our friend. Well, I tell you, I I'm not a masked rider. Then why are you dressed up like one? There he is, Sheriff. Good work, Dan. I see you got one of them. So, it's you. I might have expected it. But you're all wrong, Sheriff. I'm no mass rider. That's what they all say. But you've got to listen to me, Sheriff. It's important. Let me explain. You can do your explaining in court, Martin.
morning, everybody. Morning. I say, ain't it? Yeah. You know, Deputy, you got a mighty responsible position guarding this here jail. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. I tell you, it takes brains to handle this end of the law. I've been watching you. The folks around here begin to talk about you. They have? Mm -hmm. From what I hear, you are in line to be the next sheriff of this county. Uh, but don't tell anybody I told you. Well, I won't say a word. Of course, though, you got to do something big to convince them. And I got just the same. What's that? Well, it's a big job. And it takes a good man to do it. That's why I come to you. Nobody knows about it but me. Thanks. Sure is nice of you. Oh, that's all right. Anything to help catch out of jail. I, I mean, I want to help you. You are a regular fella. What is it? Now, here's the lowdown. Well, thank you, Stubby, for getting me out of the calaboose. Oh, that's all right, Tex. But I thought I was going to talk myself to death trying to keep that deputy interested. <laughs> Gee, but he was dumb. Yeah, just about as dumb as you. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Now, listen, Stubby. We split here. Are you sure you know what to do? Sure. All right. I'll meet you in Green Valley. Right. out that gang once and for all. But we got a fight on our hands. Are you with me? We're with you. and tells what he saw here last night. 
game's up. That's broke jail. What? He's leading the vigilantes now. They're out for blood. They mean business. We've got to get the jump on them. Beat them at their own game. It's our only chance. Come on.
Up with them. All right, Martin. Get him up. I thought I'd find you here. Howdy, Sheriff. I was just hoping you'd come along. Sorry I had to break out of your cracker box, but you made a mistake, and I had to prove it. Here's the man you want. Why, it's Dan. So that's the answer. You haven't got anything on me. Wait a minute. I suspected you from the start. Ever since the first day I saw the mine. And Nancy showed me a sample of ore that you claimed was worthless. Just for looking at it, I could tell it was worth $500 a ton. If what you say is true, then Farley is responsible for the murder of Tom Wilson. That's right. And Dawson, too. He gave him poison whiskey when he thought he was going to talk. You got anything to say for yourself, Farley? I've heard enough. Take him away, Depp. I don't understand. Why should he raid his own mind? To drive you out, Nancy. You see, Farley was the brains of a big organization of thieves and cutthroats. They were trying to get control of this entire valley. They almost did. But how did he manage to keep undercover so long? Oh, that was easy. You see, the mine shaft connects with this hideout here. He could come and go as he pleased without being discovered. Well, I guess that about explains everything. But it sure beats me. It would. Yeah. What? I'll ride, 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 ride down the trail to home. I'll be courting down in Texas with the gal I left behind when I ride. Ride, ride. I'm gonna marry you. A gal that's contrary. Then skedaddle back and paddle to the gal I left behind when I arrived. 